hi guys welcome back to my channel today we have a tutorial for you and we are making a reversible bucket hat so take note that when you're taking your head circumference the tape should be an inch above your ear and a finger should be placed in for ease materials needed as brown paper sewing machine a pencil a paper scissors and a fabric scissors pattern making fold your brown paper into four and at the tip, you mark your head circumference, which is 22 divided by 6.28, which we got 3.5 inches. Mark it all round and add your seam allowance, which is 1 centimeter. For the body of the hat, we divided the head circumference by 2, which we had 11 inches. We marked it and drew a vertical and horizontal line. We then marked the body width, which is 3 inches. After getting the body pattern, we fold it two times and mark the folded lines. We are going to use the slash and spread method. So we cut to the edge. Don't cut the whole thing, just leave a space so we can spread evenly. Get a fresh sheet of brown paper, fold into two and take the pattern and spread. The interval should be 0.6 cm. After spreading evenly, mark your allowance, which is 1 cm, all around the pattern. For the brim, fold the brown paper four times and mark the folded lines. We are going to repeat what we did for the body pattern. We are going to slash and spread. Get a brown paper, fold it into two and put the pattern on. Spread evenly by 1.5 cm. For the fabric, I used a wooden fabric and an old jeans fabric. Pin and cut pattern on both fabrics.
sewing process. Sew the 1cm allowance on both the brim and body pattern. Make notches at the center of both the crown and the body pattern. Match the notches and pin down for sewing. Due to the elasticity of the jeans, it's easy to pin on a curved edge. Due to the stiffness of the wooden fabric, you have to snip the edges in order for it to relax on the curved edge. Notch both the body and the crown pattern in order to locate the middle part and pin down. So with 1cm allowance. After sewing, snap the ends for it to relax. Put all the allowance at the crown side and top stitch. Notch the center line and pin down. Match the notch on the brim pattern to the body pattern.
allowance towards the body and top stitch. Match the right side of the wooden fabric and the jean fabric and sew. Leave about 3 inches space for turning over. Fold in the space left for the turn over and top stitch. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. Bye!